and we're recording. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Chanella tuning in from St. Andrew, Jamaica. First, let me start. If you hear any form of outside noises in this video, please try to just ignore it as much as how I'm trying to ignore it. There's just some things we cannot control and I'm at a point in my life where I'm beginning to accept that. If you're new to my channel, over here we talk about faith. <laughs> If you're new to my channel, over here we talk about faith, entrepreneurship, business, digital marketing, and of course, just my general life. So if you feel like those are topics you'd be interested in, then please smash that subscribe button down below and join the family. As you guys can see from the title of today's video, I'm going to share with you five business ideas that you can start from home today for free if you guys don't know i run a content marketing business which basically means that i help business owners especially solopreneurs to manage their digital content across various platforms because maybe they don't know how to do it themselves or maybe they just don't have the time to manage it all i've been doing this for about three years now and i can clearly remember a specific time during the early days of me freelancing and running my business having absolutely no clue how much I can really bring to the table but being very confident that I was learning and you know just really taking this role and this job seriously I was able to earn as much as my salary doing the very early stages of my business and coming from a very poor background that made a huge difference and so I thought it was very necessary for me to share this video with you guys today just to give you guys an insight and let you guys know that yes it is also possible for you to earn additional income through doing something from home. I also think it's important to give a disclaimer, though you can jump into a business today and literally start a business today, that does not mean you're going to start making sales from that business right away. It takes time, you have to be very dedicated to it, you have to be willing to go through the grind. And so keep that in mind as you begin to listen to these different business ideas and become inspired. So business idea number one, you guys have probably heard this before because the market is a little bit saturated right now, but a niche and a space is available for anyone who really, really, really decides in their mind that they want to capitalize on this. And this is becoming a digital marketer slash social media manager. I wish I could stress how easily accessible it is to take on this role mainly because one certification courses are available for free for anyone who decides that they want to become a social media manager today you guys can go on hubspot you can go on google garage and learn about what it means and what it takes to become a social media manager after doing those couple of hours of learning and actually getting that certificate you guys can then engage Engage persons in your community whether that's your church whether that's your job whether that your is your literal community where you live reach out to persons who have businesses and say hey I'm a social media manager and I'm building up my portfolio I would love to run your business account for one month or three weeks however long you decide you want to do that and um, I'm going to aim to get you these results and based on how you perform with that what we call a beta client you can then now use that experience to leverage yourself effectively through your own promotions so that you can get additional clients a lot of times we don't want to go through the process of working for free but the truth is that is necessary when you don't have any experience but if you want to start a business run a social media agency um, or be a social media manager as a freelancer, then your best bet is becoming certified and being able to can build up that portfolio so that you can pitch to other clients as well. Second business idea for you guys, once again, this might sound a little bit, you know, common, but it's not very easy to execute. And that is becoming a UGC creator or a content creator. A UGC creator is basic, basically stands for user generated content and this means you are specifically providing content 
for brands, for businesses to use in their own marketing and promotional efforts. So for example, if you're a UGC creator for the, I don't know, Canon, I, I said Canon because that's my camera, you could literally create videos of yourself using Canon in a very optimistic way and provide that content to the company and they can then give that content to their social media team, their marketing team, and they can take that and create their own marketing um, assets from it. That's kind of the gist of what it means to be a UGC content creator. A split out from this is a full-time content creator, which generally means outside of creating content for brands such as brand deals and sponsors, Sponsorships, you also have an audience and somewhat of a personal brand that you leverage and that requires you putting out content consistently over time growth will help to determine monetization for you in this field so stepping in this field will require your mind to be ready to take this on for the long haul Business number three, you can become a virtual assistant tomorrow if you decide that you want to be. Now a virtual assistant is basically as it sounds, you are assisting usually a solopreneur um, virtually. And basically this will take on a lot of administrative tasks such as creating Excel sheets and Word documents and drafting letters and organizing stuff in the back end of that business owner's business. I don't know why I feel so choppy with my words today. It's so annoying. You can use the same approach which I gave when I was referring to becoming a social media manager. So reach out to persons that you know directly have a business or may need some assistance in the back end of their business and say, hey, I'm willing to work for you for maybe a month and in return, I'm just asking you for some feedback, you know, a nice review that I can put on my social media page to help just kind of push myself and my brand. I know the thought of working for free seems a little bit daunting, but look at it this way. If you engage someone that you may know and you do such a great job, that person can choose to hire you for the long term if they so desire and that person will now become your cheerleader and go to their own circles and say, hey, I know someone, you should totally hire them. Because usually business owners have other business owners as their friends. This one is a little bit tricky and truth be told, when I was thinking about it, I was like, mm, it's going to be really dependent on your availability of resources. So if you do not have the necessary equipment for this role, then chances are starting this business will not be 100% free in the context in which we're speaking now. However, if you do have access to these resources, such as an adequate software and computer, then you might just can start this business today for free. And this means becoming a graphic designer or a seller of digital products. When I say digital products, just in case you're wondering, I'm referring to anything that you can sell digitally in oftentimes different formats. So if you have an iPad and you can draw, you can actually create stickers and sell these stickers on Etsy. If you create good, great planners that will help people to feel more organized, you can create these planners online and actually sell them in PDF format. All of these will take in some aspect of graphic designing, but if you wanna go real premium and you have a real knack and hook for creativity, your creative skill set is just out of this world, then you should use your talent and tap into the world of graphic designing. All right, we are on the fifth and final business idea for this video, and this happened to be my very, very favorite one, becoming a writer, of course. If you know you're a creative person who can think out of this world or really organize information together so that it's readable and easy to understand, then you should look into the field of becoming a writer. I personally really love this industry because there's absolutely so much you can do. You don't have to be constrained to only writing a book. You don't have to be constrained to only um, creating a blog. You can become a ghost writer. You can become a digital writer. You can become a web writer, a website writer. There's so many different areas in the industry that you can tap into as a writer. If, however, you decide to start a blog, that would also be pretty smart because the good thing is that you there are so many free websites out there and after a while of blogging, you'll be able to can turn on your AdSense on your website and actually earn from the ads that's coming in on your website. 
in addition to that similarly to becoming a content creator if you build up your reputation and credibility enough in the writing space and in your niche you can then take on brand deals and share content on your website the same way you would on a youtube video or an instagram reel or a tiktok video the possibilities are literally endless when it comes down to this business idea and i encourage you to really consider it if you believe that this is a space that you may be called to and there you have it these are the top five business ideas that come to my mind when i think about starting a business literally tomorrow like i mentioned previously there's a lot of work that goes into how these businesses can become successful and actually work in your favor and while its success is dependent on many different factors one of the major factors will be you as the business owner so please keep that in mind that's it for today's video guys just a quick plug here for any solopreneur or business owner that already have a business but have absolutely no idea how to market the business themselves you should pop into my dm or email to find out about my consultation sessions because they're tailored specifically for someone like you if this video was of any value to you please share it with others in your community so that it can also be a blessing to them if you guys have any questions i encourage you to drop them in the comment box below and once again if you are new to my channel please hit that subscribe button and join the family so you can benefit from more valuable content like this one also remember to give this video a like because it really helps the youtube algorithm to recommend my videos to more like-minded individuals like yourself Thank you guys so much for watching again and I'll see you in my next video. This is Chanela and I am now tuning out of St. Andrew, Jamaica. I don't know what this was but I guess I felt like I was commanding an orchestra. Hey. Hey. Okay, I'm done. <laughs>